Hello, this is the first video in chapter 20 of Young and Friedman's University Physics, which is on the second law of thermodynamics. So the previous chapter is on the first law of thermodynamics, which has to do with the fact that energy can neither be created or destroyed unless you're God. And I'm not, so let's go ahead and say that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. This chapter is on uh, the, the second law of thermodynamics. Um, the second law of thermodynamics basically is saying that in nature, there is an overall irreversible movement toward uh, overall disorder and randomness, toward heat loss, toward what we might call entropy. And what's entropy? Entropy is a qualitative measure of the degree of disorder and randomness in a system. Okay, let's wait. Let's back up. Okay, oh, that was the last chapter. This section, the first section of the chapter, is on directions of thermodynamic processes. Directions. And basically, what are the directions of thermodynamic processes, you say? And the answer is toward randomness, toward disorder, toward heat loss. So, um, you know, once, once, if I open the wind, if I have a hot room and I open the window, the heat's gone. I can't get it back. It's not going to randomly come back. Um, there's always, you, there's no such thing as a perpetual motion machine. There is always some loss of, uh, of random energy that can't be recovered. Uh, we have to keep, you know, if, unless you keep shoveling the coal in the steam engine, it's not, it's going to stop. You have to keep um, fueling things. Nothing will run forever uh, on its own. There's always a loss. And so this, if I throw a bunch of papers up in the air, it, they're not going to land in a nice alphabetized pile. Uh, it just doesn't happen that, that way. And so there is an inevitable movement, irreversible movement toward disorder and randomness in the universe. The current cosmological theory is that eventually the universe will cool down uh, to basically absolute zero. That's the destiny of the universe. Um, now, we should be very clear here. I, I grew up hearing the second law of, I knew long before I took physics, I knew about the second law of thermodynamics uh, because in, in some circles, uh, it's common to say evolution can't be true because of the second law of thermodynamics. Well, I'm not gonna weigh in on the question of evolution. Um, but there can be pockets of order. For example, my room. My room will have a tendency toward dust and disorder. Uh, it's inevitable. It's the second law of thermodynamics. Um, if I don't continually uh, uh, put more energy into my room, my room will eventually kind of disintegrate um, into dust and decay and and you know, if you were to go out in in the countryside and find find an old abandoned house or barn, you you see an example of the second law of thermodynamics. But of course, you can get some a hammer and some nails and some a new wood, and you can you can you can make something better. You can create order in a small part of the universe. Now the ov that does the overall system is headed toward randomness. But we create little pockets. Uh, you know, you clean your room, you organize your your papers and books. Don't look at the rest of my room; I won't show you. Um, so, the second law of thermodynamics doesn't say that there can't be pockets where it goes from disorder to order. The second law of thermodynamics says that's not going to happen overall in the overall system, um, and that the natural, irreversible uh, tendency of the universe is toward decay. Well, I'm going to stop there. So what is entropy? This is a nice highfalutin definition. Entropy is this disorder. Entropy is this increased randomness. Entropy is this irreversible loss of heat from the system. Um, that's what entropy is. Entropy is the ultimate destiny of the universe. Okay, very depressing. You didn't think you could get, who, I, I mean, uh, who thought you could be depressed from a physics video when there's no math involved? Okay, so thermodynamic processes in nature are all irreversible. Actually, this is where time, this is where time comes from. Um, uh, on the quantum level, things could go forward or backward in time, theoretically. But in the macro world, the, the second law of thermodynamics implies time. And so um, uh, for, for those of you who are uh, theolo theologians out there who like to think philosophically about God, 
this suggests that um, the second thaw, th law of thermodynamics cannot be a consequence of Adam and Eve's sin, uh, because there would be no time before Adam and Eve if the second law of thermodynamics was not in place. Okay, those of you who are just studying physics are thinking, what the world is this guy talking about? Well, thermodynamic processes always proceed spontaneously in only one direction, and that is toward entropy, overall, uh, an overall gain in entropy. They don't go the other direction. The papers, uh, the book doesn't suddenly uh, pull the heat out, you know, the, so I can throw a book across the table, scoot across the table, I can go like this, I can create heat, but, but never is the heat going to come back into my hands, you know, okay, come back heat, no, it's not going to happen. Um, the table, the book's not going to, you know, slide back, uh, pull the heat out of the table and run into my hands. Not going to happen. Why? Second law of thermodynamics. Um, heat spreads spontaneously through a room from a heater. It does not randomly decide, hey, heat, let's go sit in the corner together. And then suddenly, wow, I just walked into this little spherical side of the room and it's hotter over here you know, than everywhere else. And there's no boundaries and there's no reason. It's just not going to happen. That, these are all commonsensical things. And it's the second law of thermodynamics. You may not have known what to call it, but that's what it is. Now, we can talk of reversible processes uh, if, if you have a system that is very close to, but not entirely, in an equilibrium state in a quasi-equilibrium state. So for example, let's say you had a block of ice at zero degrees in a, in a insulated chamber that maybe was undergoing little infinitesimal changes of where it's now it's a little bit more, now it's a little bit less, and now it's a little bit more. Then you might have a little bit of back and forth uh, between ice and water, say, uh, in a kind of quasi-equilibrium process. That's that's. That's where re reversible processes might happen in a quasi-equilibrium state. But if it were in a perfect equilibrium state, it wouldn't happen. And of course, most of the time, when you, I mean, you never see, you, you, you never see a nice little cube come out of some, a, a puddle of water on the table doesn't dip that, dip that, and turn into a piece of ice. It's largely an irreversible process. Well, I have talked way more than I needed to to get across the very simple point of this video and the first section of this chapter, which is the direction of thermodynamic processes is irreversible in one way, and that is toward greater randomness disorder, or shall we say, entropy. Onward into the second law of thermodynamics.